Where do you want to go? We dropped us off at Myeongdong Station, so we have options. And we have all of Myeongdong to explore, basically. Should we go get our hair dyed? I kind of want to. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm in Myeongdong today and my friend's doing her hair, Juno hair. So I will be out and about. I'm super, super camera shy, um, which as many of you guys will know as watching these vlogs. So hopefully I can actually film today. Um, if anything, it'll be a music layover. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do that and then update. I'm gonna go to a lot of cosmetic stores. I might buy some stuff, so we will see. Um, but yeah, I'll be out here for quite a while today. So while my friend gets her hair done and then I'll update. In a little bit, so let's hope I'm not too camera shy right now. Um, I definitely don't think I could do this out in public, like just filming right here. The reason why is because I'm on a building um, and I'm going downstairs right now because I'm just so, so camera shy. And I need, I definitely need to get over that. Oh, I did want to buy some stuff at Innisfree, so I'm going to go inside there and we can see what I can buy over there. All right, guys, so we're good. This is the, oh, oops, this is the intense cover which I thought it was okay. It is starting to get a little bit chalky, which I'm not really happy about, but this is the BB right here. Give me one second. It's the BB cover right there. The Dewy Glow Foundation. That one's in 23 and I really, really like that one. Um, it's very, it has SPF 25 PA++, um, which is not bad. And then it's very, very glowy and dewy, which I like. And I really like the way that one's set on. Um, I'm filming now and I did a little break because I asked uh, the storekeeper to to um, turn on the music so that I could vlog without getting copyrighted by YouTube. So I'm going to go through everything in case I don't film the first part. So this is the Hydroline and basically it's meant for hydration and then like I said they're doing quite a bit with this but this is how do they kind of promote the product and this one's the moisture ceramide so good for wrinkle um, care and moisturizing this is a whole line right here so it's quite quite a bit and then up there too up here we have the rose this is one plus one right now so the smaller size is half the size of the big one so you'd actually save money if you got the smaller one then the cushion cream is right here too so that one's meant for soothing um and really just moisture like i said the floral hydro line already is for moisture and then this one right here is for nourishing is more towards like firming the skin and the primrose is going to help to basically brighten the skin I did want to try this one, the Aqua Peel Lip Mask, because it's Plum Blossom scent. And then they have Overnight Peel Cream too. This whole line is meant for exfoliating, which is really nice. And I do want to try this one out for sure. It's another product that they're putting on display. And this is like the setup, basically. This is all anti-aging right here. Age control, pomegranate, um, whitening, emulsion, and then AC line for acne. And I do want to try out some other AC stuff too, because it has BHA, which is really nice for the oily skin. This is like a create your own bag thing. I do want to get this really bad just to wear. <laughs> but I think it's a uh, gift included only, because there's no price tag. And this is some more stuff too. Basically just the display. These right here, I believe, are the diffusers, which, I mean, most of the brands, like the nature, natural brands, they will have that. This is the setup for the sink. And these are the hand creams right here, too. Which, the lavender one looks really nice. Petal spa cleansing oil. So like I said, the rose line too is basically meant for soothing. There's more here on the other side. There's a cleansing balm to remove makeup, oil to foam cleanser, and then another one right here. Um, I think this one's just slightly smaller. Yes, by 25 milliliters. Uh, the Lotus line, which is supposed to help against the fine dust in Korea because it's quite bad here. And then Happy and Smart. I'm not sure what this one is. This one's just supposed to promote healthy, clean skin. So I think it's just basic line. And the iris one is meant to cleanse without double cleansing, it says, because it's three in one. 
Uh, there's a Calendula Line 2 for the SPF, which looks interesting. And then a Monde Men, because all Korean lines have a men line. And then all the mass sheets too, which I went over the mass sheets during the first video if that ends up going up. But they're all pretty much basic mass sheets, some with the biocellulose, which is like the big thing right now in Korea. This was the high cover liquid cushion at first I thought looked nice, and then it becomes kind of chalky looking, which I can tell it's going to go into fine lines. But this is covery, and then this is powder, but again, I'm not going to go with the powder. And then it is a little bit too light for my skin tone. Oh, this one's for 20,001, I'm probably gonna buy. And that's pretty much it. But I'm really happy that they let me film in here. I had somebody translate, <laughs> so that was really nice of them. And they said five minutes, so I think I'm done. Um, these are all the mask sheets right here. Firming, moisturizing, creamy with hibiscus, so even more moisture. Basically all moisturizing and then calming, anti-aging, um, deep hydration, all that kind of stuff. You do want to try some of them just to see how they perform because Momonda is one of those brands that you either know or you don't know. Back in America at least. But yeah, that's basically the store layout. So yeah, they did not want me to film them, the workers. So yeah, but this is pretty much it. And I'll give an update if I buy anything. So I ended up passing it because Juno Hair is by the Starbucks right ahead. So I actually went a little bit more ahead towards Vanilla Co. And I did go to Vanilla Co too, but I didn't really film because it's kind of awkward to film when there's not enough people in the store. Plus in most stores they're playing K-pop, so that's still copyrighted if I'm not careful. Okay, so from here... Oh, she's right there. Okay, we're going out to the bank to get money, finally, because if we don't, how are we gonna eat? <laughs> But yeah, we're in Myeongdong. This is what it looks like. Crazy right now. Um, now that it's super busy and people aren't paying attention, it's so much easier to vlog. Um, so yeah, here I'll show you guys a frontal because I don't really do that long. <laughs> this is fun. It's fun, but it's very awkward. Um, so yeah, we're looking for an ATM right now and for background guys because when I see it, it's so strange because there's so many people that are looking at the same time there's so many people that seem very intrigued by what I'm doing and then that also don't understand what I'm doing at the same time that's me the moment I got to Korea We're back in Gyurum, the original hometown, because we needed money, and none of our none of the ATMs are working for our debit cards, and even still, mine doesn't have. Oops, I almost tripped. Uh, mine still doesn't have access to getting out funds, so we're over here, and I'm gonna turn it over so you guys can see the cherry blossoms. Oh, so nice. I'm gonna go eat somewhere that my friend's recommending right now, so, yeah. I'll look at her from the back, she looks really, really nice. <laughs> She's got her hair dyed too, so it looks really good. Gidim is really quiet at this time, even still, but it's really nice in my opinion. It's really calm. 
Um, I wouldn't mind being in this like tucked away place. to Tom and Tom's now for I'm not sure what we're going in for <laughs> Hi, hello, baby. Tea. it's really really good too Hi, <laughs> We just finished Norebang back over there and we butchered it. So we're going to go into the second round. No. <laughs> round two. <laughs> Another place to butcher. Um, we did end up passing by well, a two house and they do have a cafe. So I do want to go back. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> this is what we're getting into. This mess again. Hopefully um, we don't kill this whole thing. <laughs> Ooh, it's popping. It's pop. Look at this. Look at this. The last one went to was so small. And yeah. All right, we're getting out of here because the second round went really well, and it's like 3:40 a.m. And um, <laughs> I have Toradoke peeling treatment tomorrow, so I'm super excited for that. But um, yeah, I'm not getting sleep, so they're gonna be like, your skin's pretty messed up. What's singing? It's a house. It's a house with cafe, but it's all closed. Yeah. We we'll McDonald's. <laughs> Our kind of we have McDonald's as an option. That's it. Then let's fucking go. Let's fucking. All right. So basically, everything's closed except for like the few taxis. There's a coffee shop right there that's open. Just are not enough. So. <laughs> yes, all we have is McDonald's basically. McDonald's or Bones House? We're going to McDonald's. This is my first time going into McDonald's in Korea. So I'm gonna order a lot. I might film a mukbang. A mukbang. Is that what they call it? <laughs> 